and welcome to UAT time within the United Country special by First Ukraine. You can find us on the frequencies available on our website firstua.com. I'm Sergei Vilichansky. And I am Olivier Vedrin. UAT time is dedicated to bring Ukraine and Europe closer to each other by interesting the real Ukraine to the rest of the world. The terroristic attack in Paris last week has raised a lot of questions. The picture looks like somebody is trying to shake Europe from the inside. Who is to blame for the tragedy which took away at least 129 people with hundreds injured? Today we want to bring these questions to the table and try to find the answers. First of all, Olivier, my condolences to what happened to hundreds of people in Paris. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a lot. And uh, I hope you already saw the reaction of the Ukrainian people yep. and the flowers at the embassy. Yep. And uh, uh, in fact, there is a discussion on the Facebook about the, you know, the coloring of uh, yeah. uh, the pictures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because there's, you know, a lot of people support, I mean, in spite of the fact, regardless of the opinion, but most of the people support French, French people. Uh, the discussion was, should you color your uh, picture with the French flag while so many people are being killed in the east of Ukraine because of terrorists as well. But either, either way, all the people still support the, uh, you know, the people in Paris and France. A set of shootings and explosions hit Paris late on Friday, killing at least 129 people and injuring more than 350 in one of the city's densest districts on the Friday night. ISIS claimed responsibility, but the veracity of the group's claim is unclear. French President Francois Hollande promise, uh, promised a merciless response and world leaders vote to stand by France. So, and uh, the president of France said this is an act of war. We are in war. We are in war against a state. This, this state is an Islamic state. We are in war. Uh, France is in war. I can say also uh, European Union is in war um, because uh, we, uh, I think this is not a secret. I think we will have other attacks like that. Yeah. This is only the beginning because we are engaged in a conflict in Syria against this Islamic state. But I, uh, you, you, I want to underline a fact. I receive a lot of message of condolence of, from Ukrainian friends and I want to say thank you for them. Thank you for, uh, thank you for those victims in, in Paris. And uh, your message of condolence was uh, very nice and thank you a lot. Um, I know that in Ukraine also uh, you are suffering about terrorist act. And now we are in, in the same uh, way of thinking. Uh, we have to take care about our victims. Well, um, again, on the, in some social media, I found this one which will really help understand what is happening in Ukraine. Imagine terrorist attack not one, but hundred cities at the same time. Imagine the terrorists are not 10, but tens of thousands. Imagine not Kalashnikovs only, but tanks and artillery systems. Imagine them occupying hospitals and schools and shelling us from there. Imagine those terrorists having veto power in the United Nations Security Council. Now you can understand how Ukrainians suffer. Yes, I am totally agree with that. That's why, um, you know, uh, for me, we have uh, to... Uh, Putin is leading a terrorist uh, state in Ukraine. The terrorist state is Russia. Yes. And in France, the terrorist state is the Islamic State. Is it? is the Islamic State. Uh, but, but is it truly that? We can find other maybe explanation okay. about who is the benefit of that. But the Islamic State in Syria is in war against France. And this is a 
a terrorist attack. By the way, and this is the same way that, uh, you know, for me, I cannot do a difference between uh, uh, what's happening in Ukraine and what's happening in France. This is two terrorist attacks. And of course, in Ukraine, this is on a large scale. And uh, <laughs> you know that I, 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 I support Ukraine 100%. And, um, and I think uh, France also has to support Ukraine more mm -hmm. and more. And uh, we must also put some flour in the, in the embassy of Ukraine in Paris. We must put some flour in the embassy of Ukraine in Paris. Yeah. We have to. Well, uh, I think it will take place. I think uh, there is, uh, you know, some good actions, acts from on the side of uh, France as far as not selling mistrials mm. and some other things. Yes, and you know that during Maidan, we put some uh, the, the colors of the uh, Ukrainian flag on the Tour Eiffel. Yeah. And yeah. We, we, we did a lot of support. But here's the question. Ukraine is under constant, constant attack by Russian terrorists, but we are expected to negotiate with them and give in to their demands. In fact, one of the uh, people who uh, yeah, who expects us to do this is the president of France, Francois Hollande. Uh, why the double standard, Europe? Um, why? Okay, why? Uh, that's a, that's that, that's a, a, a nice question, and I am not in favor to negotiate with terrorists, uh, uh, even uh, in <coughs> in Donbas or in uh, in Syria. No negotiation possible with terrorists. We only have to kill them. This is the only way. But in Syria, uh, in Donbas. But what I'm saying, <coughs> the official, the official uh, uh, position of uh, French government, government, they are trying to. They are leaning more <coughs> that we should negotiate. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, but I, I, I will. Will they negotiate now with the terrorists? No, because you know that uh, we had uh, the information that uh, the Ministry of Defense of France did some bombing on on Syria today. Today. Yeah. We we did some um, attack. Oh yeah, airstrikes. Yeah, airstrikes. <coughs> yeah. That's that's our answer, and that will be the. Always the answers of France when France is attacked by terrorists. That's why I I am, and I I have no double standards, you know, uh, for for well, Ukraine. Is the same. <coughs> but in, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, <coughs> definitely you have your own opinion. But uh, uh, I would like to hear more uh, about the official opinion as well from the uh, about the government. So. Uh, because here's, here's the thing. Now, <clears throat> who is to blame for the terroristic attack? Supposedly, ISIS, Islamic State, or by the way, um, uh, in, uh, in his statement describing the Paris attack as an act of war against France, President Francois Hollande said the war was waged by a terrorist army a jihadist army by Daesh against France. Mm -hmm. Why Daesh? They're trying to avoid the term IS. Because <coughs> you, you have different organization in Islamic State. Uh, you have Al Qaeda also, okay. a terrorist group. You have Daesh terrorist group. Uh, but anyway, I, 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 we are in war against real state and the Islamic State. Daesh is one part of this organization. This is, uh, but the Islamic State is uh, is really non-official state, but this is a state. They 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 they, they rule uh, large territory, mm -hmm. and uh, they have several organization like uh, Al Qaeda, Daesh, and all that. And uh, their target now is France because we are engaged in this conflict in Syria. Yes, <clears throat> and uh, you know that uh, for me this is. I am very angry because uh, I think sometimes Putin is also guilty about that. I will explain to you. Okay. Three years ago, my president, President François Hollande, wanted to bomb this, uh, in Syria. Okay. 
and uh, to help the uh, laic and uh, moderate uh, opposition against Bashar al-Assad, to help the moderate opposition, uh, my president wanted to bomb three years ago. <coughs> yes. Because you know that three years ago, Bashar al-Assad used some chemical weapons, okay? Okay. And we were ready to bomb. But uh, Putin and uh, the Russian government say, please stop, Bashar al-Assad is ready to, um, to um, give up, to give up uh, control <coughs> under the chemical weapon. Okay. And the result is now, we have a terrorist attack in France. Then I was in favor of to bomb uh, Syria three years ago yeah. as my president. And now, because we didn't do that, because of this game of Russia, we have a terrorist attack in, in France. And this is my way of thinking. Russia indirect, indirectly <coughs> help those terrorists. Um, all right. Now, uh, unfortunately, it's not that obvious right now, to be fair. No, it's not obvious, but okay. I talk about three years ago. Three yes. years ago, yes. Yes. What, <coughs> if three years ago we bombed this, uh, this uh, government in Syria, this, because Bashar al-Assad is a dictator, Bashar al-Assad killed the people, the, he, he, he did a lot of tortures, and, and the, the Syrian people <coughs> want uh, freedom, and the Syrian people did a, started a revolution. At the beginning, we had in this revolution a lot of moderate opposition. Yeah. And we didn't bomb, and because we didn't bomb, the opposition were more and more Islamic opposition. And why we didn't bomb? Because Putin said, stop, Bashar al-Assad is ready to uh, open uh, the control of his chemical weapons. Yeah. <coughs> and you know that between Syria and uh, Russia, you have a strong links. Uh, I can, in, in Secret Service, for example, strong yeah. links between the Syrian Secret Service and the FSB, and, and FSB Secret yes, Service in yes, Russia. Yes. Okay? Yeah. And now we have the result of this policy three years ago. Actually, um, just to give you a little uh, different view on that, uh, right after, right the next day, uh, when the, after the ter terroristic acts in Paris took place, uh, Mr. Markov, who is the uh, counselor uh, to uh, Putin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he made such a, a quite a provocative statement, uh, which has uh, been uh, uh, around for these several days. Uh, basically, he said uh, the, the, the terroristic act is the revenge of jihadists uh, for the airstrikes of French uh, Air Force in Syria. And uh, he says that it's time to stop the conflict of Russia and the West because of Ukraine. Somehow, he's bringing that up, uh, you know, I mean, like, we're talking about Paris right now. We're talking about you know French people. What it? Why? Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, and, we, and to be provocative, we can say that this terrorist act in Paris is very useful for Putin. Yes. Well, now he says uh, we need to stop the conflict. Uh, Kiev, uh, uh, Kiev uh, authority should be submitted, should be taken away and submitted by the uh, technical government. Re to rewrite the constitution of Ukraine, to take, you know, uh, take away all the neo-Nazis uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, conduct new elections. Uh, the, the Kyiv authorities right now, uh, Kyiv junta, uh, as he says, are the main uh, obstacle uh, in the conducting in Syria a joint operation of Russia USA and France uh, in the joint fight of Russia, USA, and U U uh, European Union with terrorism. Yeah, and I think we, 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 we. Yeah, and I think maybe we can uh, say that uh, Putin want to take the benefits of uh, our, of uh, the uh, terrorist <coughs> attack in Paris. He want to take this benefits. He will never take this benefits. Never, because uh, we will stand up for Ukraine, and we won't. We don't want to do an exchange uh, between uh, a coalition in Syria and the, the uh, end of uh, the conflict in Ukraine. Now, I want to be quite clear. Uh, 
the reason, for instance, I don't like the name Islamic sta State. Mm -hmm. uh, it could, you know, we, we I think we, by naming that, uh, we help the propaganda the way they want to announce that Muslims mm -hmm. are against the rest of the world. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that the uh, Muslim, Muslims, their religion is teaching that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. And here's a simple proof. There is one, almost two billion, mm -hmm. 1.7 uh, billion <clears throat> people that are Muslims mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. If they were taught to kill, mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about like each, every fourth person in the world is Muslim. Mm -hmm. If they were taught to kill, would be dead by now. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So this is the major proof. But and yeah. <clears throat> just like in, in Christianity, there are uh, some extremistic uh, yeah, 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 movements. I know, yeah. uh, well, remember, you know, three, four hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have the war of religions. Yes. Mm. Um, so right now, so I want to be clear that I don't believe that uh, Islam, the Muslims, are at war. So by, uh, you know, if somebody claims Islamic war um, or Islamic state, you know, mm -hmm. against the world. Yeah, but we... we, we they claim... They, yes, but they, they say that we are the Islamic State. Then we have to take care about that. But they... F or, yes, of course, I have a lot of friends who are Muslim, and, and they are very peaceful. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now, they, those, men, those mm -hmm. men are not... Uh, they are not representative of all the Islam. Mm -hmm. They represent some radicalism of Islam, not, not, uh, not all Islam, of course. Yeah. So now, the question is... Uh, um, let's do a little investigation. Like, what? How do we know uh, that ISIS uh, supposedly, uh, you know, takes credit for the? Um, for because the they they they, they send them. Uh, at first, they sent a message after the at attentat, you know, uh, terrorist attacks uh -huh. in Paris. They sent a message that they are. They well, are they are the, <coughs> the initiator of this now of those attacks. As far as I understand, the message came from a uh, not very reliable source, right? Sunday Times. Yep. Okay. Um, now, I mean, some some uh, you know some analytics are questioning. But our answer was uh, that we 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 we. we f we thought that this, and we think that this, uh, that they are the, the the Islamic State is the initiator of those attacks because we we bombed uh, Syria. That, that this is our answer, answer of France. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's mean that's mean uh, that this message is uh, is right. I think. Supposedly, mm -hmm. one of the attackers, uh, you know, people heard uh, him say you know, yell, uh, phrase, a phrase like, this is all uh, the guilt of your president. This is all... Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, uh, yeah I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your president is to be blamed. He's guilty for, because he's, guilty he's in this. Syria with weapons and blah, blah, blah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, the typical uh, shahids or jihadists, they're not, you know, they're, they're not doing this, but uh, it's... It, it, uh, to my memory, it had never happened before, like, you know, uh, making statements like this. They just uh, do their job, and that's all, in, the, in Europe. Mm -hmm. But it's similar what they've done, uh, you know, in Russia. They did the same way. Yes, uh, you know, for me, we have some parallelism between what's happened in the Théâtre of Moscow and what's happened in the Bataclan in Paris. Uh -huh. Some parallelism. Yes. Yes, yes. And in fact, somebody uh, is trying yeah. to say that, you see, you see, you've you, got... We have some parallelism. And future, the future will say what's really happened here. But we have some parallelism between the Théâtre of Moscow and what's happened in the Bataclan. Uh-huh. Maybe this is the beginning of a solution to understand. Now... Uh, but uh, really, I receive a lot of messages from uh, some... Uh, a uh, friend who were uh, prisoner during the Soviet Union. Yes. Uh, one of my friends was a very famous prisoner during the Soviet Union, and he said, 
to, to him, this is obvious that uh, the Lubyanka is behind this also. Then now, uh, but really, we can do a lot of parallelism because between Theater of Moscow and the Theater of the Bataclan in, in Paris. Yes. Now, we have uh, pretty much within the past couple of weeks, we have uh, two major uh, uh, terroristic attacks that took place. Yeah. One is the plane yep. from, you know, going from uh, Egypt, and another is uh, in uh, uh, Paris. Now, it's interesting how it seems like uh, you know why? Why would the, uh, who would be interested to um, who gain? Well, who benefits from those two? Definitely, definitely, Egypt suffered. Yeah, I mean they are right now. <clears throat> I mean they are suffering, uh, you know, millions of dollars because of uh, the tourists are not yeah. coming. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Uh, but who has grudges against uh, Egypt? Russia has, because mm -hmm. the Mistrals were, uh, they, you know, went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. You know, well, it's uh, you know, some of those co coincidences. Uh, I know? think we, 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 okay, we, we, we are doing some parallelism and we are trying to 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 look for coincidences. But, uh, and I think we have maybe to stop. To look about a lot of parallelism, but 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 a, a fact, a fact mm -hmm. this year. Putin came in the Syrian conflict with weapon, and now is bombing Bashar al-Assad opposition. Yes, this is a fact. Okay. Yes, Putin <clears throat> is in war in Donbas against. Ukraine with terrorist attack also. Yes. Putin wants wa to solve the crisis in Ukraine, and this is why he's in Syria, because mm. he wants to say, without Russia, you will do nothing. And I think we have a very bad game from Putin in this case. We cannot say that uh, Russia is behind this attack or not. We, we don't know. We can only do so parallelism. But what we can understand is that Putin need to come back in international affairs. And as you know, as a Siloviki and a Soviet, post-Soviet person and member of the KGB, he will have no values and he, 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 ha he have he has no values, and we, we, he will do, I think, everything to come back in international affairs. And we have to take care about that. And for me, uh, everything is possible. What do you foresee? Uh, what do you predict? What's going to happen? You said today the airstrike. Yeah. Uh, so the airstrike supposedly went back to Syria to uh, to who? I mean, who did they? Who did the friends bomb? We we bombed some training camps. Okay. Yeah, training camps of terrorists. Of I bomb, yeah. ISIS. And you know that we you, we we have in uh, in those terrorist camps some. Uh, uh, European citizen, French citizen, more more than uh, one thousand, and we have also Russian citizen, more than two thousands. Then uh, in those this camps? war, yes, in those camps, and the, this war is really, really uh, that will take a long, long time, because uh, terrorists are well organized. Uh, they have some strong support, financial aid, and uh, France is in war for a long time. That will be not. A, quick war, I yeah. think that will take some years. But, um, but we are, I want also to underline a fact that Bashar al-Assad, Putin, uh, and Bashar al-Assad are very friends. They are thinking in the same way because they come from uh, secret service training. Mm -hmm. uh, Syria is now the only ally 
in Mediterranean Sea of Russia. Yes. Russia has a um, military base in, in, uh, in Syria. And Russia needs Syria in this uh, Middle East. Then um, I think for political reasons, uh, Putin will do everything to come back uh, in the Middle East. Yes. And, uh, and we know, and we have the result also, that the, the military campaign of Putin is not efficient anyway. Because uh, we, we can see the result. We have a terrorist attack in Paris. The, those campaign, Russian campaign, uh, helped n no, no one, even France. And uh, they, they don't have the weapon, they don't have... They, 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 and we, we, we know that are, also... Are you trying to say that they don't have enough uh, weapons to uh, Russia? conduct... Russia is inefficient in, in, in Syria. They, they, w come on. Uh, we, we have an uh, international coalition with the uh, USA, yes. with France yes. and some Arabic states. Yes. Y do you think that Russia can be more efficient than US, France and some uh, Arabic states? That's set? why it seems like uh, they use a little different uh, strategy than the coalition does. You see, they, you know, it's, it's, I, would say, I would say to me it looks uh, logical, you know, having uh, some forces there in Syria and, uh, you know, sponsoring some terroristic attacks uh, all over the world. Mm -hmm. I think it sounds, sounds quite uh, logical. That's a possibility. But uh, I want to underline that we know that uh, Putin r attacked at first the opposition of Bashar al-Assad, yeah. not the Islamic State. Yes, yes. We know that. This we is an information. That. Yes. He is, he is in Syria, not against the Islamic State, but to help Bashar al-Assad. Yes, yes. He really, the first is to help Bashar al-Assad, not to well, bomb the Islamic State. Cynical hypocrisy, just like in Ukraine, they're supposedly against uh, fascists and Nazis. But w yeah. you are you, you are now in new Cold War. Yeah. And now the Russian Federation is is coming back to the Soviet time. And now we have to face a new Soviet period yeah. in Russia. Sure. Yeah. This is the answer. <laughs> All right. OK. Russia cannot be our ally, in, my, in what I think. Russia cannot be our ally in this case. Yes. Please. Uh, and we have, and the Ukrainian war, we must not forget the Ukrainian war, and if Putin say that he want to forget the Ukrainian war, the Ukrainian war is another field, yeah. and never, never we will do an exchange. Well, I suspect that we will have uh, new information later, new facts will come up, and we might be very surprised in some issues. Um, but in overall, what we have just said is that no one's gonna, you know, let the terrorists do their work. Uh, yeah. Nobody wants to bargain with them. No, nobody wants to deal with them. The terrorists. I hope, the, I know, hope yeah. Europe now, right now, will change their position as far as, you know, advising Ukraine. Yeah. To negotiate and deal. Uh, with for those me, the, the 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 terrorist in the Donbas or the terrorist um, of the Islamic State are the same. The same, yeah. the same. Yeah. That's why we have to, we have to think uh, and we have to help Ukraine also because uh, you know, this is the same terrorist. All right, time is up. Okay. We are quite, uh, we've covered a lot, but we'll come back to these issues mm. every once in a while. It was United Country UAT time by First Ukraine. Olivier Vidrin and Sergei Vychansky were working for you in the studio. Stay with us and we will show to you the real crime. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day and see you soon.